listening to Mike's Opinion, Logic Unleashed. That's right, you are now listening to the Mike's Opinion Podcast. Thank you so much for listening and for watching. Check me out on YouTube if you haven't already. I appreciate you. This is episode 161. That's right, 161 episodes in. Yes, we here. Uh, it's summer officially in the United States and around the globe. Is it though? Is it I don't think so. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you being here. And always, you know I want to know how you doing. How are you doing? You good? You good in this world of AI and iris implants and all kind of wow stuff is out there right now, right? But we making it. We making it. I hope you making it. I hope you're doing better than making it. You know what I'm saying? As always, I ask you to support the show. Like, share, subscribe, comment, follow. If you got a little change, GoFundMe, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. You can find all of that in the show notes. Greatly, greatly appreciated. So, I was going to do a best of episode or the world famous update episode. Um, I'm working on my other podcast, uh, the world's shortest podcast. The world's shortest podcast. Check it out. Um, I appreciate the support there too. So, this episode, like sometimes you know, you hit they have this thing called writer's block, right? But it should be podcast block. Like after 160 episodes, like I've touched on many, many subjects. So I was on the phone with a very good friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine, and you know, I was like, yo, I asked her, I said, yo, what should I talk about? She, she gave me, she dropped some joints. The episode coming up, hopefully she's gonna join me soon too. Shout out to you. You know who you are if you happen to listen to this. But um, she was like, yo, you got to listen to the, you know, watch The Best Man. Now, I watched the movies. I think I watched the second one. But the, but she's talking about the series. And I haven't watched that yet. So she's like, yo, check it out and then get back to me. And I will. But I don't watch a lot of TV. I just don't have the time. But, um, yo, it made me think. I, it just, it hit me, boom, like a ton of bricks. It was like friendship. I don't know that I've done an episode on friendship because I wanted to do, I always try to do grand stuff or do it right at the very least, right? So I was like, yo, I'm just going to dive right in. So friends, how many of us have them? Friends, ones we can depend on. Uh, that's a quiz. That's a quiz. The quiz question is, what song is that from? I'll wait. Yeah, you got it right. Houdini. If you're not up on that song, it's old hip hop song, old rap song by a group named Houdini. Um, rest in peace. I believe ecstasy passed away. And if I'm incorrect about that, I apologize. But, um, but, uh, rest in peace to the member of ecstasy, excuse me, the member of, um, Houdini, who passed away, big loss. You know, you always hope I'm an old head, right? So I was there when hip hop was born in New York City. You can check out; I got a couple episodes on that. And I know, you know, it's easy to say, "Yo, you're just an old head," but a lot of hip hop out here is just. I just, I'm not. I love hip hop. I love some of the new stuff that's out there, but some of the stuff is anyway. I'm, you know what? I'm not even going there. Y'all know I digress on a regular basis. I'm not going there today. So, but Houdini, check out that song. Um, it's called Friends. But it made me think about, you know, talking to my friend today made me think about friendship. And full disclosure, she's an ex. I am friends with many, if not most, of my exes. And my wife is very comfortable with that. In fact, she threw me a, 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 a surprise birthday party when I turned 50 for my 50th birthday. And she invited exes. That's how cool we are. Okay. It ain't nothing funny. No funny business. None of that. No, you know, it's not like that. We are truly friends. And, um, 
lifelong friends. It just made me think about friends, you know, how I value her friendship and all my friends, you know, um, the real ones. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that I've kept in touch with since I was running the streets of New York City back as a young teenager. You know what I'm saying? Um, friends from school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, friendship. It made me think about friendship. And I just want to tell you, the really the point of this episode is to tell you to value your friends. You know, those ones that really got you. No matter what. Winter, spring, fall, summer. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? If you, Even if you mess up, they're going to have your back. They may give you some choice words, but they still got you. Even if they disagree with your life choices or lifestyle, they still got you. They love you. And, you know, in that Houdini song, he says, you know, when it comes to friendship, don't ask me for help because a friend's somebody you judge for yourself. So, you know, whenever I do these episodes, um, y'all know that I like to dive in and I like to give like the definition. So I'm doing a specific subject, which of course is friendship. So I want to do the definitions just so you know. And I know, you know, it's different things for different people, but generally speaking, we have these dictionaries, we have these, these books that give us definitions of words. So I'm going to give you a couple. Um, and, and some of them, as always, I find some of these funny, yo, they're just funny. But one of the noun is, uh, the, the noun definition of, um, the word friend is one attached to another by affection or esteem. On this same website, the second definition is one that is not hostile. <laughs> and I was like, just because somebody's not hostile towards you, they don't have to be a friend. They're not really a friend, right? Like, you know, for my nine to fathers out there, yo, you might be like, yo, I go into the office every day and these people are not hostile towards me. I work with them, but they're not friends, right? Acquaintance at best, co-worker, but they don't like qualify as friends. So, um, on another, uh, definition on another, uh, website, rather a friend is defined in noun as a, a person attached to another by feelings of affection or personal regard. The second definition is a person who gives assistance as a verb is rare or to be friend. So we're really talking about the noun. And on the last uh, website that I checked, oh, maybe I only did two. I thought I did three. I thought there was another one, but apparently not. I thought I did. Let me just take a quick look here. Boom, boom, boom. No, I guess I didn't. Oh, yeah, it was the main one. And, you know, when you use the world's most popular search engine, and I ain't saying no names because I ain't sponsored. I'm not saying they name. You know who they are. The world's most popular, widely used search engine. As a matter of fact, the name is used as a verb now for when you say, I didn't search for something. You say, I blank for something. I might as well go ahead and say it because y'all already know who I am, but I ain't getting no checks from them. So, no, I'm not saying it. If y'all want me to say it, y'all know who you are. Hook me up. Anyway, friend, uh, as a noun, is a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond of mutual affection, typically exclusive of sexual or family relations, which meaning there's nothing sexual involved. There's no family. They're not family. Of course, somebody in your family could be a friend. I happen to be married to my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And uh, wifey definitely is that, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? But I got a lot, a lot of uh, close friends that are are truly, um, you know, ride or die. And I appreciate them, you know, and I love them. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all know when you do, when you're dealing with humans, humans 
sometimes do human shit. I have been, I was going to say stabbed in the back, but it was more like, you know, they cut me open, stuck a grenade in and ran in the back kind of situation. Like some people that done some despicable things. But if it's a real friendship and you have even the slightest inkling about human beings, then that friendship can survive. It's up to you, though. Some people burn them bridges. You know, they cut the rope. Boom, you cross me, it's a wrap. But I ask you, you know, think about your own dirt. Now, you know, in the two instances, there's only been two. I chose to forgive. And a lot of people would have never forgive what these people did to me. The people that I call, they, they call myself my friends. Like people you hang out on the regular. And, you know, there's certain things that cross the line, right? But you think about it. There are people that had even forgiven the murderers of somebody close to them. Like somebody, you know, their child got murdered and they'll go in the courtroom and say, I forgive you. Whew. I definitely need to do an episode on forgiveness because real forgiveness is hard. But it matters, you know, if that person is going to do it again. There's an old saying, I can't attribute it to anyone because I don't know who said it, but it says, you know, um, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me because I let you get me that second time. So I'm at fault for that. But you know, when you think about your own dirt, you know, you want people to forgive you when you mess up, right? So, um, when you have a, a friend, there's so many songs about friends. I just thought about another song when it comes to friendship. Um, it's, 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 they're not family, right? You didn't, you know, they, you weren't born with them. They're not, you know, your brother, sister, mother, cousin, aunt, whatever. Um, and, you know, and like I said, in a lot of my exes, there was a romantic involvement, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out romantically, but the friendship is still solid. And a lot of people say, like I heard um, uh, Steve Harvey say that a man cannot be friends with a woman. And I would say there's an asterisk next to that. So Steve, shout out. I think you need to correct yourself and see if you agree with me. Feel free to holler back at me and blow my show up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, logic is unleashed here, as you know. So I think you can appreciate the show. Um, plus, you know, we got one degree of separation. You and your boy Cedric. And we used to date some sisters. Anyway, I'm not even going to go there. But um, yeah. But the asterisk is if you... have a man could be friends with a woman if he's already had that woman. Had doesn't sound the right word. If he's always, if he's, if he's already experienced that woman sexually. Now it might be hard to be friends with a woman who you've never experienced physically or engaged with sexually because that curiosity is still there. What's it like? What's she feel like? What's she taste like? Mm, what kind of sound she make? You know, all, all the things, right? So. Um, so I think men can be friends with women if they've already experienced them physically to their satisfaction, right? Like if you hit it once and then she put you in the friend zone, but you wasn't quite finished with that exploring, then you might still not be able to be friends. Cause what, so what Steve said was that, um, Steve Harvey said that, you know, there's always that. You know, underline, you know, the man is always, we physical beings, okay? A lot of women don't understand it. They think we dogs and it's doggish. It's nature is what it is. It's natural. It's in every fiber of our DNA. And I can't speak for all men. I can speak for this man. Okay, I'm healthy. Well, into my mid-50s. 
knocking on 60's door. Not knocking on the door, but I can see the house. Like, I see the front door. I'm like, yo, it's over there. I feel good, though. I feel strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm saying all I have to say, I ain't never used a pill, yellow pill, blue pill, never, none. You know? And I feel proud of that. I'm proud of that. And I'm not judging anybody that does. Let me be clear about that. I'm sure one day I probably will do too. But my brother from another mother, and like I said, he's he's like my brother. He's more than a friend. We grew up together. But, um, you know, he flew in and, you know, he stayed with me in my crib. And, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm going to lace you with a couple of these. He gave me some white ones and some blue ones. I still got them. That was like 10 years ago. I know the shelf life is over. Matter of fact, I think I tossed them because I don't even know if I would take them now. I don't know what the, what's the shelf life on a Viagra. I don't know. And I didn't want to say their name. I said the blue pill. It's free pub, yo. I'm not trying to do that. Anyway, um, you know, but, but the friends with my ex is like, you know, the sexual thing. They still have attractive women, but I love them as a, as a friend now. You know, the, the sexual aspect doesn't really even come into my mind, to be honest with you. 99.9% of the time. Anyway, um, if I'm being honest, I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it 100. I am a man. <laughs> so, anyway, um, but that's a healthy 99.9. It's, it's not there. So, this friend that I was just talking to, you know, we was talking about, we used to, you know, have a couple businesses together and we, um, I'm gonna, like, cause I'm gonna get her on the pod. She, y'all would love her because she's excited. Just like, you know, I have wifey on the pod, but wifey don't want to do the video pods. She's beautiful. When I told my friend tonight, she was like, yo, she's beautiful. What is, why she don't want to get on the pod? I, look, I don't know. I'm not going there. But wifey, when and if you hear this or watch this, the world would love you. The world loves you. The episodes which you want are our most popular episodes. Anyway, move right along. So, like I said, it's not going to be a long episode. I just was thinking about friendships, and I just wanted to tell you, just, you know, sometimes we need to be reminded. I just wanted to just shout out and say to y'all, cherish, value, and nurture your friendships with the people that you know got your back. If you know they got you, you know and they've been having you, like they've been holding you down. I, I don't know why I hate that term. Holding you down. It's, you know, I think holding me down. And I know what we mean by it, culturally. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, hold me down. I think hold me back. Like you holding somebody down. We need some new sayings. Let me think of one. Instead of saying hold you down, lift me up. That it just don't, it don't, does that not sound as fly? You know what I'm saying? Yo, you lifting me up. That don't sound like you're holding me down because we're so used to holding me down. But holding me down, I guess, you know, can have a different one. You know, you could be floating away and you holding me down, keeping me grounded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you got a few minutes today, text that person. Maybe you ain't hit them up in a while. Say, y'all, I was thinking about you. Like when I said friendship, when I said friends, or you know, what did you think about? Was there somebody that came to mind when you think of your friends, you know, your real friends? So I was reminded during our conversation today that I cherish my friend and it made me think of other friends and it made me think of doing this short episode on friendship. And I said, I want to shout out to people and just tell them, you know, cause me and oh girl, we like. I don't know, like 20 years, you know, we got long, long term, you know, so, um, you ever met somebody, it happens when you're young, but I don't know how, if it happens when you're older, but that's just like instant friends. Like it's just, and I, there's, there's, there's these connections, you know, it's just, you don't know if you were together in a past life or you could just, you know, you got the same blood type or whatever it is, but you just vibe with that person from the moment that you meet them. I was talking, um, 
with another a friend of mine. He's not as close a friend, but he was a former neighbor. But you know, I consider him a friend. You know, him and his family, and you know, we were standing together talking uh, earlier tonight, and he yawned, and then I yawned. I'm going to do, I know this probably sounds crazy, but I'm going to do an episode on yawns because it's a mystery. Science don't know why we yawn. Do you, have you ever been next to somebody and you're like, yo, Mike, this this is not talking about friendships. It's all connected. It's all connected. Plus, y'all know I digress. The regular watchers and reg- regular listeners and thank you for doing so. I appreciate you. Word. Um, but, um, it's, it's something to yawns. Like, even my dog, and may she rest in peace. I know I just lost my dog not too long ago, and I really miss her. But um, my dog would yawn, and it would make me yawn. What's up with the yawn connection? More to come on that. I don't even know. It might be next week. But like I said, I got a couple episodes um, that are that's in, that's ready that I haven't recorded them yet. But the subject matter, like I said, the world famous update episode is coming, and boy, do I have a lot to to add to that. Cause who? But you know, friends. Take care of yours. Nurture those relationships. Again, lastly, it's like a broken record, but you know, only 1% of people actually support. So I'm asking you to be part of that 1%. Be part of the 1%. Support the show. Of course, yo, I'm trying to get new microphones. Okay. I'm trying to get this joint by Shure. S-H-U-R-E. The S-M... Oh, man, I was just looking at it yesterday, I think it was. Give me just a second, and I'm going to find it. Sure. The SM7B microphone. I just I just can't afford it. It enjoys like $400. So that's just one of the things that I want to get. So when I ask you to support the show, you know, I'm not trying to. I, I'm not in the Jordans, but I'm just, I'm not going to go no Jordans. I'm not going, you know, to the lobster buffet. I'm going to reinvest it into the show. I need to do advertising so I can get the show out there. But one of the pieces of equipment that I want is, um, like I said, it's the, the Shure, uh, SM7B. High grade, uh, very popular. Um, you know, because y'all know, Sometimes some of these episodes, the audio has been raggedy. I'm trying to get better. I've been reading. I keep trying to expand my knowledge base to make it better. So support the show, please. I'm saying all that. If you have a few dollars, support the show. A dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars. It all adds up and I can work with it. So please support the show. In the show notes on my GoFundMe. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. There's links to all of them directly go straight to me. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you cannot afford to, or if you just choose not to part with your hard-earned money, and believe me, I respect all those that have donated because that money is hard-earned. But if you ball it, hold on, hold on. If you ball it, if you are a regular subscriber, regular watcher, or listener to the Mike's Opinion Podcast, and you sit in fat, you sitting on dough, Light your man up. Yo. Email me. Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com. Again, also in the show notes, Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com. And I will give you my mailing address. And you can send me a nice little shoebox or a package with number Benjamins in it. Do you know? Do you do, mm, do you know how excited and pleased and thankful? And amazed I would be. I would just be in shock, really, if something like that happened. That would be amazing. Anyway, if you cannot do so or choose not to do so financially, I ask. It takes a couple of clicks. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe. All the places you listen and some places you don't. Help me grow this show. I need you. I cannot grow without you. You hear those people? Oh, they hit a million followers. You know why? Because a million people got their back. Now, I know. I'm realistic. I'm not naive. I'm not for everybody. I don't do a lot of... Um, I haven't done any... I've done guests on the audio. But since I started doing video this year, I haven't done any video guests. And I know I'm kind of niche. I don't, you know, do gossip or a bunch of, you know, just antics just to get clicks. 
this is a substantive um podcast. It's about substance, things that will provoke thought in you and hopefully kindness amongst people. I want to contribute positively to earth. This is the whole objective of this show. There's plenty of objectives that I have and goals with this show, but the main one is to spread love, spread love. Hopefully my little contribution can just nudge us in a better direction so we will learn how to live with each other nicely and kindly. Yeah. That's all I have today. Cherish your friends. Cherish your friends. And as always, I hope you are doing okay. You know what I'm saying? I hope you're doing better than okay. I hope you're great. I hope you're feeling strong and healthy. You're eating your vegetables. You're drinking your water. You're at least going for a walk or working out. You know, you're praying to whoever you pray to. You're meditating. You're loving your kids and hugging them. You know, you got you good at your, your career, your job, whatever you're doing. I hope you're good. I hope you're good. I hope you're centered. I hope you're focused. I hope you're at peace. I'm being that. I am Mike. This is the Mike's Opinion Podcast, and I thank you so much for listening and watching. Thank you so much for listening to Mike's Opinion. Logic Unleashed. Unleashed.